Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use MongoDB create file system to save user uploaded files. I will also show you how you can show and delete files from MongoDB grid FS. So I have this empty folder. First I will open terminal in that folder. Then I will initialize npm. Set the entry point as server.js and type yes when everything is ok. Then you need to install the no daemon module. It will automatically restart the server when there is any change in server file. Then start the server. I created server.js at the root of my project. Then I installed HTTP module to start the server. I am using Express Framework and MongoDB. This version 3.5.7 works best for me so I am using this. Once installed you can restart the server. Then in server.js first create instance of Express and HTTP. Then MongoDB. Then I start the server at port 3000. Once server start I will connect with database. This will be the name of database I will be using. If you check the app in the browser now, you will see this. Now after the database is connected, I will create a bucket for my grid fs. A bucket is where all the files will be stored. Now I need to show an HTML form where user can upload file. So I am going to use EJS as templating engine. First I am going to install it using terminal. Then start the server again. After that I will tell the express app to use EJS as view engine. Then I will create a folder named views. All our HTML files will be placed here. Inside this folder I will create a file index.ejs. And inside this file I will create an HTML form. Method will be post. Action will be the path that will handle this request. We will create this API in a moment and set encoding type as multi-part form data. It sends the form data in multiple parts because of large file sizes. We have an input field that will accept the file. I have set its name as file and a submit button. Now in server.js I will create main route and in this route I will render this index.ejs file. This is how it will be displayed in the browser now. Now when this form submits we have to handle its request. We will install express formidable module to handle all input fields and files from the form in request object. And fs module, this is a file system module and it will be used to read user uploaded files. Once installed, restart the server. Then in your server.js, you need to install these modules and tell the app to use express formidable as a middleware for all requests. Then I will create a post API to handle the upload request. First I am getting the file, then I am setting a unique name for the file. You can save this name in your other collections too in order to save the reference of uploaded file. Then I am opening a read stream of user uploaded file. The pipe event will be emitted whenever the data from the file is read. And whenever the data from user uploaded file is read, I am opening an uploaded stream from bucket and setting the file path. This will be saved as file name in fs.files collection. I will show you in a moment. And in options I have set the maximum size for each chunk should not be greater than 1 MB. So a file of 4 MB will be divided into 4 chunks. This is the metadata field. You can save any type of additional data you want. I am saving file original name, its size and its type. Whether it's image, jpeg or png or whatever the file type is. Finish event will be called when all the data has been read from file. That means that the data will also been stored at the MongoDB. So we will redirect the user back to main page. If you try now you will be able to upload the file. And check your mongodb compass. You will find two collections. fs.files will have all the documents for each uploaded file. It has unique id, file size, chunk size will be the size of each chunk we have set. If you do not set the chunk size by yourself. MongoDB will use 255 KB for each chunk size. 
upload date will be the date time in UTC when the file was uploaded. File name just as we set. MD5 will be removed in the future. It is added here for legacy purposes. And metadata as we have set. And in fs.chunks collection, you will see all the chunks of each file grouped by file ID. N will be the number of chunk starting from zero. And data will be the binary data of that chunk. So now that the files has been saved, we can show them on main page. First in our main route, I will fetch all the files from the bucket. You can also use a file name filter to fetch only selected file. And since we are using await, we must define the function as asynchronous. And then pass this files array in index file. And in index.egs file, we will check if there is any file. If not, then we will show an error. Otherwise, we will loop through all files, show the file name and image. This is how you will see right now. The reason you are getting broken image is because we need to fetch the image from bucket in order to display it. So we will create an API that will handle this source path. It will be a get route. It will accept the file name as parameter. First we will check if the file of that name exists in the bucket. If not, then we will return an error. If exists, then we will open download stream of bucket by name. Just like while uploading, we opened upload stream. Here we will open download stream and pass the name of file to open. It will automatically fetch all the chunks of that file one by one. We will add the result in pipe so whenever a chunk is read, it will be sent to the client side. You will be able to see the images now. One more thing we can do is to add a button to remove the file. It will be shown like this. Then I am going to create an API that will handle this request. It accepts file ID as parameter. In this, we are simply going to call the delete function from bucket and passing the file ID in it. And then I will redirect back to home page. So it works. Now let me try with some file of more than 1 MB in size. So this file is of 4 MB. It is uploaded. And in database, you will see that the previous file is removed and this one is added. And you will see four chunks of that file because we have set 1 MB as the maximum size of each chunk. You can see the file ID is same, meaning these are multiple chunks of same file. And you will see the number incremented for each chunk. So that's it. That's how you can upload, view and download files using MongoDB grid file system. If you face any problem in this, kindly let me know.